The, pro the propagation speed of the waves on the transmission line is up, which is 1 over square root of mu epsilon, and since we have Teflon between the conductors, we have mu naught, epsilon naught, epsilon r, and epsilon r was given as 2.1. If we plug all this in, we get 2.07 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. According to the plot here on the bottom, the reflection reaches the generator after 12 microseconds. This is the time it takes the V1 plus wave to propagate down to the fault and then back again to the generator. If we say the location of the fault is at z equal d, so then this would be z equal 0, then we can write 12 microseconds times u p meters per second is equal to the distance to the fault and back, which is 2d. We can solve then, because we know u, p, we can solve then for d, d is 1.24 kilometers. Finally, as a third part to this question, this problem, determine the fault shunt resistance, the value of the resistor going between the two conductors at the fault.